How are you guys doing today? So this video is gonna show you how I removed this pesty dial pin on the E153 transmission as well as the S54. So this used transmission has these dial pins, but the problem is uh, these have dial pins as well on the block. So we're gonna either remove from the block or the transmission. So today we're gonna remove it from the transmission. So the tool that I use is the Calvan tools, the dial pin remover. Um, this is the metric. Since I only deal with MR2s, we go ahead and got the metrics. So this is the kit that comes with. It comes with this body housing. It comes with this, um, I guess, this dial pin size tightener tool. So this have four, five, six, seven, eight. I mean, four, five, six, eight, ten, twelve millimeter. All right, and get a file or a sandpaper, and then 19 mil and a 21 mil wrench. And we're gonna go ahead and roughen up this dial pin. Either use sandpaper or just kinda like scrape it off so that way it has more biting surface on it, okay? And how you would measure the size is you get one of these caliper gauge. And we're gonna measure the size on it. And that's a 10 mil. So we went over here to our little box, grab our 10 mil, okay? All right, let's go ahead and uh, get this dial pin removed. So we're gonna dry it up a little bit with the sandpaper or kind of this fire there. And then this should slide right over. So this piece touched the transmission. And we're gonna get this housing right here over it. And right here, it's a little, kind of like a spacer, I guess. And what I usually do is put some anti-seize in here so that way it doesn't get stuck later on if I wanna use it. And easier to come off as well. So get yourself a 21 mil to put in place. And a 19 mil for the bottom nut. And what it does is it's kind of like tying up the dial pin So, give us a little force. All right, we good. That should be good. And we'll get this housing over it. Like that. And it come with a little washer. Um, I put some anti seize on here as well. Tie it in. And just turn this so that will force the dial pin to come out. And there we are. And there's your dial pin. So I just gotta loosen this, this one up again. Put the tool back. Spacer. Get a little fire. Pull it out. And there it is. Our little dial pin. So I tried drilling it out. I tried getting it with a vice grip. That's a little mark right there. Um, didn't get very far. So I went ahead and cough out to get one of this tool. It's a lifesaver. Um, I've done. I was just getting tired of just drilling it out and tapping it and then using a little little bolt and just pushing it out. It just, this saves my butt a lot, save, save me some a lot of times. All right, so I hope this video helped you guys. The kit is not cheap, but 
I know I'm going to use this in the future, so it's a good investment. Okay, so I hope this video helps you guys. The link in the description below to go to the tool. All right, good luck.